hello let's play channel of her that's me good morning we are back with another rotato run we're gonna see if we can win with the sick character we still haven't been able to win with them after a couple days uh it's 703 a.m so let's uh let's just jump right into it and figure out try let's try to figure something out with this guy like this is, we're having trouble with him man like maybe should i go for like harvesting not sure we'll try harvesting i guess danger two is always that's the go-to not gonna be able to freaking level up i'm not even gonna level up oh lord okay well i leveled up thanks to harvesting but oh goodness gracious what did i do what did I do? Elemental damage for sure. Where, God, where, God, oh God, oh God. Oh God, look at all this lifesteal already. What the hell's going on? All right, anyways, it's uh, it's Thursday. Thursday? Is it Thursday? It's July 6th, that's all you need to know. I think it's Thursday. I'm not 100% sure what day it is actually on the top of my head. I'm 90% sure it's Thursday. I am not doing good. It is Thursday, July 6th. Wow. I've already made it this far, eh? There's a hand, and there's a tree. I'm gonna go double hand, and maybe harvesting is the play. I need some more lifesteal, man. I don't think this is going to work out in the end. I don't think this is going to work out in the end. With how little I'm leveling up, this is definitely not going to work. But maybe now that I have two hands, maybe two hands will help me out. So yesterday on stream, I finally rolled the credits on our good friend, Dave the Diver. After a very long time. I will say it was a very good game, though. It is definitely one of the best indie games I've ever played in my life, Dave the Diver. Just based off how much content the game gives you, it is one of the best indie games ever. Attack speed, I guess. Oh, this is not going well. <laughs> this is not going well with my hands. Do have some dodge, but we'll, we'll see. I can't really kill anything. I'm relying on harvesting going up, but my harvesting's not really going up because I can't kill anything because I only have hands. Let's try again. Let's try again. No, not the saver. Sick. Uh, I don't want to do fist. I was thinking harvesting would be good to get, but... Maybe not that way. Maybe I want guns. Let's try a gun run, I guess. Get the range up, maybe. Maybe this is how I get range up to 300. Alright, anyways. We beat Dave the Diver yesterday on Twitch. And it was honestly, it was really good. It's obviously being uploaded slowly to the Let's Play channel. I think I'm going to up it to twice a day on the Let's Play channel. Because it's one of those games that just kind of like took over for a little bit. And had a lot more than I expected. I'm going to get harvested up immediately. Um, Explosive. I'll buy it thing you see i got i get so many different guns like what the fudge i get so many guns compared to damn harvest compared to damn everything else 
Yeah, Dave the Diver. Oh my god. I'm debating if I want to go back and play it a little bit more today. The Let's Play channel is on like episode three or, or four. As of making this, I think four might be out. Unless I go for the double uploads, then five would be out as well. But if you have not played Dive and Dave, Dave the Diver, oh my god, you gotta try that game out. That game is an actual gem. I'm like so impressed with how much is actually in the game. I was if I combine it. Uh, Lifesteal stays the same. Okay. Combining it did nothing. The game has so much, it's insane. I don't, I can't comprehend how much Dave the Diver has in its game. It's a small indie game. I, uh, someone gifted it to me on when I was streaming because I was talking about it. Uh, very generous of them. Uh, but I, it was it's about twenty dollars, and I played thirty-one hours for twenty dollars. I don't know about you, but that's a pretty good freaking deal. Are you kidding me? Like, what? 20? What the? You got 31 hours out of a $20 game. That was just me casually playing through the game. I wasn't rushing or anything like that. I was just doing it, just doing it as it came. It's one of the best games I've played all year, and it's going to be hard to beat it as the best indie game I've played all year. Like, the, the second best indie game I've played this year, I'm pretty sure, is maybe Darkest Dungeon 2. I guess you could throw Brotato in there as well. Even though I don't really stream Brotato, Brotato's been a very good indie game. There's been a lot of good indie games when I actually do think about it. Tape, tape's another good indie game that I've played a little bit of. A little bit of. I've played a little bit of Tape. tape. Not as much as... Brotato! All these damn SMGs. Might take the max HP. But I also might need damage. You know, being uh, someone that streams a lot of indie games, I asked my Twitch chat this yesterday. I was like, what do you like? But because since I stream a lot, I have plenty of people that watch Twitch that don't watch this. I don't know how many people watch Brotato because it's technically an exclusive to YouTube. I imagine not many people care about a YouTube exclusive. But I asked, I was like, so what would you guys describe me when you think of my stream? What do you think? And a lot of people were like, yeah, indie games. And I was like, oh shit. I'm getting known as an indie person on Twitch. Which is fine. Indie games deserve all the love they can get, so I don't mind giving them some. Give me that dodge. Let me eat cake. Lock that in. I guess we're using a bunch of shredders. I gotta get explosion size and explosion damage up. We're using a bunch of shredders. I also should get my range up as well. I want... Maybe I, sh I should try to get 300 range. I know I probably shouldn't try to do it with this person. With lifesteal being needed and everything else being needed. But... Come on, man. Achievements. Come on, man. Think of the achievements we could get. Just think of them all. There's so many achievements that I still need. Well, in this game, I only need three more achievements minus winning the run with every single character. Or winning a run with every character. Then the question is, will they add any more achievements? 20 range team. He heard me talking. He heard me talking. Give me the lifesteal. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Right, we got three purple guns already. A laser gun? Get more trees to spawn. A laser gun, eh? Who have the 15% explosion size? Let's combine these. My range is a solid 70. I think it's 300 range. That's a lot of range. 300? Well, let's see how we do. I think we have our guns. I'll need to get my damage up. I haven't really used any... I don't really use a lot of ranged weapons. 
maybe range is the way to go so I don't need to like get hit by a bunch of people with my life steal. I need to worry on getting speed up a little bit, but maybe it is the way to go with this. Why did I think of doing range before? If I every gun has life steal with this character. Every weapon, even if it's a 25% chance. You're shooting a good amount of bullets. I'm gonna lower the game ever so slightly. My my audio settings are fucking all over the place right now. It's kind of annoying, but you know. What can you do with a drunken sailor? Look at that. 2% life steal. Uh one more reroll. Blow the harvest and get some life steal. It's good to have it's good to have more life steal, you know? It's good to get a little bit more. I do think I'll need to get my range damage up a little bit, but we'll see. I might be able to level up twice here after that. But since we already got one level up this level. Might be able to sneak in an extra one. We'll see. I also played another horde survivor game yesterday. I started a new one. This one I got for free. Uh, from the developers, so shout out to them for giving it to me. And I went in thinking it would be absolutely, like, not that good. And it's not the greatest thing ever. Rotato is definitely a better one. Vampire Survivors is better. I'd say 20 minutes till dawn is better, but I'm honestly not a big fan of 20 minutes till dawn. But I started playing one called Choo Choo Survivors. And let me say that is a weird that is a weird game got my range up eight harvesting mm hmm and that's 689 damage Hmm. I'm debating if I want the pistol. I'll take the pistol. It's freaking blue. Dab it, dab it, die. Start the next HP with one. Start this one. I feel like that's going to kill you if you take it. Oh, there's the laser gun. All right, wave nine. Like, you take one damage before an enemy even spawns, so taking the ghost would kill you. Who the hell's gonna take that? Also yesterday, my main channel on YouTube, I uh, edit the videos myself on my YouTube channel, like my, my main ones. And I guess I edit the videos on this channel as well, but this is a Let's Play channel, so it's not really much editing, to be completely honest with you. Um, it's more so just uploading the VODs. But I edited, I finished editing the, a video, a video that I've been working on for the past few days. I'm a little nervous it won't perform as well as some other videos, but I'm also very excited to see how it does. Because I think it's a pretty well-made video. Uh, so, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see how it does. Hundred percent chance to instantly attract materials. Garden. Piggy bank. Uh, four dodge and four harvesting. My range damage is zero, so I guess it'll be negative one now. Which I'm not really a big fan of, but we'll see how this works. My damage is not high, but my range is kind of high. Man, it's hard to get that range up to goddamn 300. I instantly attract all the materials, which I kind of don't... I swear, when I instantly attract all the materials, I get so much less materials. Like, on paper, that weapon, that item sounds really good. 
but when you actually have it it seems so useless because you barely get any materials from like i got 400 materials last wave the life steal is also very high maybe i need to get my speed up these things are going faster than me This is not going that good. 30% gain one material when killing an enemy with a critical hit. I never have crits. Gimme speed. Gimme dodge. Life steal. Reroll. Give me more damage. Give me more trees. Give me a reroll. One HP recovered. Give me more damage. My my attack speed's going down a little bit. Lock that in. I'll take that. My attack speed has gone down tremendously, but my damage has gone up, which I don't know if I like that trade-off. I don't know if I like the trade-off. I got 20 extra damage, but I lost 8 attack speed. I mean, the guns are still firing instantly like a gun would. Honestly, I think the gun is definitely the best bet to use to win with this character. If you get six guns, get some good attack speed. With how high the life steal is, you're basically getting health back every second. Because there's, there's constantly enemies. You might need to get your speed up a little bit, but... Uh, recycle. Three armor. Fifteen percent attack speed. Give me the wings. Give me that. Lock that in. I haven't seen any guns in a while, so it's nice seeing the SMG two. We probably combine these two and then uh, buy the SMG two, or we could recycle the level one gun. But I think the level 1 gun's my other explosion, so... There we go. Now, you see, we got a little bit more attack speed back. We even got some speed with the wings and even more range. Now we're feeling a lot better. I'm glad I picked up the... I'm glad I picked up the armor. I was debating on not picking it up because I didn't want to lose my speed, but... It was definitely worth it because I got the wings now. These enemies are still going very fast, though. Oh, my God. Honestly, just keep hugging the corners. Not getting a crazy amount of money, but I'm gonna recycle that. Two range damage, I'll get that up. Do I want a 5% explosion size? You know, we'll just combine this. Take that. I'll take the bait to get a little bit more damage. Oh, I'll bite. Eight harvesting, sure. More wings. Lock those in. More of that, sure. Lock that in to get more luck. All right, this run. If I can keep surviving, this run is going to be looking pretty good. I got range damage up. I got bait, which I'm not the biggest fan of bait. Well, I am a big fan of bait. I take it, like, all the time. But I was a little hesitant. But more damage, I think, is always good. And I've already gotten two items on this run. Holy moly. Or two items on this level, I should say, as well. Holy moly. ay 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 You know, it's a great time to be a video game consumer. In my honest opinion. There are so many video games to play. Granted, not all of them are the best games to stream, but there's so many games to play, and it's very, very incredible. 
as someone who makes content. I got so many video games. So many games. Uh, I don't really want to lose any more of my speed. Five harvesting? Yes. Turret? Sure. 45 range? Sure. Speed? Yup. Range is up to 220. Range is up to 220. I might be able to get it. I need to get it up 80 more. 80 more range. I think it's feasible. And then we'll have two more achievements that we need to get in the rest of this run. But we need two more achievements to get in this game until, like, we have them all minus the, 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 the big guy. Like, the amount of games that are coming out, like, in my Discord, I have a community Discord because I'm a content creator. You know, people hang out, talk. I talk in there a good amount. Uh, it's a nice community. If you want to come hang out with us, feel free. Uh, you, can, you can join and say, hey, I've watched the potato videos or something. Welcome. Or like, hey, what's up, everybody? I've watched potato. I, I tweet. I post in there when I go live. I, I Basically everything. The Discord is the little hub. But in the Discord, I have an events tab uh, that, will, that has events for whenever anything's happening on stream. And 90% of the time, the events tab is just used for whatever games are coming out. I'm gonna take it. Why well, regret it? Most likely. Losing my armor. But I think it'll be worth it. And right now, like, that a tab has, like, 17 events on it because there's just so many games coming out. Like, there's Gravity Circuit. That's an indie game that kind of looks like Mega Man. There's Exo Primo, the dinosaur shooting game. I'm going to try it out. See how it is. Um, there's uh, Pikmin 4. If you're Nintendo fans, I'm a fan of Pikmin. We'll be playing Pikmin 4 on release. There's Tales of Avium, which is a first-person shooter game with some magic, it looks like. I've been burned by first-person shooter AAA games constantly, so I can get burned by another one. I hope it's good, but I don't have high, high hopes. Like, can I get the disco? We have uh, Starfield. I'm excited for Starfield. I'm going to play a lot of that one, hopefully. We have um, Phantom Liberty DLC, the Cyberpunk DLC, which is Phantom Liberty. I mis mis misspoke. That looks incredible. I was a big fan of the Cyberpunk game, which I know some people are thinking, you liked cyberpunk you like cyberpunk seriously it's like yeah cyberpunk was great there's assassin's creed there's alan way 2 there's hot wheels there's mario wonder there's mario rpg there's spider-man there's games for days that's all this year that's all until like November. December usually is a lot slower for games. It's just insane, man. It's just insane. If you're a video game fan. Good time to be a video game fan. That's all I'm saying. And that doesn't even those are like those are just like triple A games coming out. Like, there's probably a, a, and a crazy amount of indie games coming out this year as well. I want the my main YouTube channel to cover indie games. And, like, the big games when they come out. I want to cover both of them. I need to get a little bit more range. I'll lose a little bit of lifesteal for some dodge. No, I need range. I need 80 range. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get 80 range in four waves, but we'll see. I very much upped my damage some more. I think this is the closest I've had for 300 range, that's for sure. 
And I've used the ranged characters before. When I first started playing Brotato, I had a really hard time winning with that ranged character. I just wasn't able to do it. And then why well, I eventually did finally win with them, so that's good. Another set of wings would be nice. Leveling up would also be nice. All right, we're guaranteed one level at least. Uh, 25% Yeah, sure. Oh my god, give me dodge, I guess. I was trying really hard to get that range. 20 more luck, sure. I I did a lot of re I did a lot more rerolls than I would usually do just to try to get more range, and I didn't get it. So I was like, I guess I'll take more dodge. Dodge will be good in this situation because God, this enemy's too damn fast. This is gonna be interesting. These guys are very fucking fast. Hey, yo, enemies, chill. You're supposed to be slow. I don't think I'm gonna level up. Let's see. I'm honestly trying to kill all the trees because I need all the I need all the XP I can get. My harvesting's like 67. Oh, I didn't even level up. Well, sure. As much as I want the big arms, I don't think that would come in handy. Alright, well, let's... If I can level up twice, maybe we could get... A big double range, but we'll see. We're on wave 19. Well, if I go to endless, I could technically get my range up, right? But I don't think it would be worth it because I want to get the victory with this goddamn character, so. I have to survive in one more wave after this, so we'll see how we do. Who would have thought using the guns was the best way to get that range up? Or, yeah, using the guns was the best way to win this with this character. I was struggling with this character, man. This is the best one I've had. I was doing Danger 2 the whole time and still struggling majorly with this character. Uh, we got level 21. 15 range. Uh, what do I want? Give me nine max HP. God damn it. There's more range. Cycle that. Take that. Damn. 40 range away. Well, I mean, I got 260 range. I was close. If I only got a goddamn plus 45 range there but let's win now my attack speed went up as well let's see if we can actually get the victory we're a little bit slow which is my major concern but we'll see if i can just win with this character i'll be happy i do like lifesteal with guns though i will say that this if i ever want to get the ranged achievement i might have to use this character because lifesteal with the guns very good combination. I'm definitely not going to be able to kill the boss. We're not really... We're not doing that much damage for a boss. 
I also need to sneeze. <laughs> Music running right when I sneezed. I killed it. Uh, pardon me. Well, this run it looks like to be doing pretty good. I'm glad I took some extra max HP. We got plenty of health right now. We're up to 118 HP. Lots of turrets because we kill trees. And we win a run with the sick character. Uh, 32 life steal. I didn't get too much life steal to be honest, but it went well. 95 damage, 3 range damage, minus 9 elemental, 27% attack speed, 260 range, only 3 armor surprisingly, but 42 dodge, 33 speed, 75 luck, and 96 harvest. It was a good run. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for hanging out with me and thanks for spending some of your time while we'll watching Potato with this channel. It means a lot and I'll see you next time. Uh, bye.